Hello, my good people. I have landed in Maryland. I'm so sorry I had to listen to the blinkers because the airport will probably yell at me if I, um, if the blinkers are not on. I'm in the passenger seat, so if I have to move the car, I'd move the car. But I will not be driving home. I took my hair out the other day. I took my hair out yesterday night. It took me like four hours to take the braids out and to wash and everything. And my mom has been yelling at me. Well, she's been getting on me to take it out for the past like three weeks. I didn't do it because I wanted to keep the braids in for my birthday. Which was March 8th. I'm 20, yay! And um, she was yelling at me to take it out. And I was like, no. But I didn't tell her why I didn't want to take it out. So let's see how long it takes for her to notice that I took my hair out. Like, she literally hugged me and didn't say anything. Well, she had to pee really bad, so <laughs> I probably shouldn't say anything. But I need to spit this gum out. It's been in my mouth for too long. Okay, she's coming. She's coming, everybody. She's coming. Let me get out of the car. No more beeping. You took your hair out! <laughs> I literally just told them. I was like, how long is it going to take for her? Hey. You notice. <laughs> you told that to who? The vlog. Oh my gosh. It's right there. I see it, but take it off now. No. Hello. Say hi to the vlog. Hi to the vlog. Okay. I connected my phone. Huh? I connected my phone. Oh. Alrighty. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Bob! So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't even, you, you skipped all the curse words and went to that one. Normally I would keep it in there, but since you work for whoever, I cannot put that in there. <sighs> Aren't you excited to see me? Yes. Mm. Okay, turn it off there. Why? Because. You're funny. Everybody loves to see your mom. Unless you tell me something juicy, then I'll turn it off. Mm. Hey! We're now back in the car from Costco. It's golden hour. Um, we have a lot of stuff. We had to move my suitcase. Okay, there's stuff back there, but move the suitcase. It's still a water bottle. Okay. It's warm. My mother drinks warm water. Ugh, it's lukewarm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, I don't know, golden hour? I may have pimples and crap on my face, but, yes. Um, yeah, so we're, she for, we went in there, did all the grocery shopping, and then she's like, I forgot to take something back. She has to take these pants back. So she's back inside. I'm connected to the ox, so, she's not getting that back for a minute. They don't know about the night in the I've never been so happy to touch the ground though, because flying scares me. But I gotta go to Vegas April 3rd, and that flight is just long, because the time difference. And I saw the emergency exit. One, probably will never do that again because the anxiety was through the roof, but you had so much leg room. So I might just suck it up and sit there again. But I don't know, who knows? Okay. Hello, my good people. So obviously I didn't, finished vlogging yesterday but you remember I didn't wear Duke so we're a big basketball family but my dad and my brother are the biggest Duke fans you can ever imagine so we end up hold on my feet here we are going okay we went out to eat last night for my dad and his birthday and we were, as we're doing it we're watching the Duke versus Miami game and then UNC versus Virginia Tech Thank the Lord, UNC lost. Duke won. So, in 2017, my brother, my brother and my mom went down to Brooklyn to watch Duke play in the ACC championship, and they won. So now, the ACC championship for men is always in Brooklyn, New York. So now, my mom comes. Into, I wish I was recording. My mom comes into my room and she's like, "Brooke, guess where we're going?" 
I'm like, where? And she's like, the ACT tournament. We're going to Brooklyn. So we'll be here in like an hour and a half. The game starts at 8.30. It's 12.39 right now. So we're going to go to Brooklyn to watch this game. Obviously, I don't, I'm not a Duke. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put pictures in here of when we went to go see Coach K and Duke at Cameron Tatum and Duke played UCF that game and they won by one point and that was the craziest game ever. I was deathly ill, but we went. So now we're gonna go to this game at Brooklyn. I just love the Duke atmosphere. I do not like UNC with every fiber in my body, I do not like UNC. But everybody's like, oh, I hate Duke. But I like, I'm in love with Coach K. I love that man. I mean, he may be significantly older than me, but I love Coach K, so. So I told my mom, like, if, if Louisville ever makes it to an ACC tournament, she better buy me tickets because this is the second time that this has happened. Instead of it's six of us. So now it's like, me. instead of my mom and Clayton, it's me, Clayton, my mom, my dad, my sister, and her wife. So we're all going. And my sister and her, and her wife live in North Carolina because my sister's in the military. So Clayton wants to come up here and fix my shoes because... Yeah, this is where I'm wearing. It's this and some leggings, and then I'm gonna have my Air Forces. So, tell them about what we're doing today. I gotta go get this stuff on my hair. What's up, guys? I'm Clayton Brooks' brother. Here are my shoes. Oh, yeah. Brooks trying to release her shoes right now. And um, can you do it standing or yeah. do you sit? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you guys yet, but later today we're going to do game. Uh, ACC championship. It's gonna be very nice. I've already gone before when they played another game in 2014, and that was super nice. I'll be right back. That's actually where I got this flag. I just got, I just got it from my room above my bed, and it was actually really cool because we got in there and like, oh, there's a flag outside. There's like the last one left, and. My mom asked this security guard if, if he could like watch me while she went out about the flag, and he literally did it. And she, she came with the flag, and the flag? I got the flag, and they won the game. And I was standing on like the ledge, and it's like really close seats, going like this the entire game. And it was super fun. Cause we weren't even supposed to go. It was this like super sketchy like stuff up place. It, it, it looked like a drug, a drug dealership. They found that they were going an hour before the game. Yeah. Dad said Dad walks into my room with like the jacket, like the yeah. room breaker type thing. I'm like, Dad, you're wearing a sweatshirt? He goes, yeah. This was on his bed. I want to put this one on. Oh, my arms are tired. Then put the thing down. Do you still have the leave-in in your room? Leave-in. Can you, like this? Yeah. Okay. Can I use it? Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Except this time they're playing Virginia Tech and not Notre Dame. So hopefully we win. Play Notre Dame last time? Yeah. I think we can beat. I say we as if I go to the school. I think they can beat Virginia Tech. As long as they don't play like you. Man, Duke shouldn't lose to anyone in the ACC. It's just yeah. not like. I swear, when everyone plays Duke, it's just like, oh. It's we're, a different. We're gonna be good now. Yeah. Lace my shoes, man. Please. Okay. I'm gonna put my contacts in today. I gotta change the shirt. Watch out. Your bathroom is so weirdly shaped. Please, we have the same exact bathroom. No, we don't. Where's the leave in? Yours is more right handed. I'm gonna have to wrap my head. You need to wrap your head. Before we leave, so my edges stay down. Uh -uh. No, that's not going on the internet because we're not there yet. What do you mean we're not there yet? You're not that close with your subs? No, I love my subs. They, I don't like to call them that. I call them my friends. Oh, okay. Your, your, your blessed ones. Yeah. Oh. My friends. They're my friends. I think you should call Brookary Nation your blessed ones. Have a blessed day. How are you feeling, my blessed ones? <laughs> I'm not a priest. Oh, well, yeah, but still. Yeah, if you took a bus in your room, I would cry. A bus? Yes. Clayton, we're going to Brooklyn. I know. Yeah, we're going to where Dan was. Where Dan lived. Oh, 
Gossiper. XOXO. I still can't believe it. Don't don't say anything in case they want to watch it. Okay. Did you watch on the Team Wolf last night? I'm watching it right now. Clayton! What are you talking about? Episode 6? No. I told you I'm, watching, I'm in the process of watching the show, Brooke. No, I asked you if you watched it last night. No, I did not. Okay. Freaking hope again. Oh, guys, we were at Jerry's yesterday. And we were talking about our family's family tree. <laughs> and it was really loud because, like... It's a lot. Yeah. Like, our mom's dad has seven siblings, including himself. And then our dad's mother, so our grandma, Grandma Gary, has nine siblings, including herself. So we went through that whole family tree, and it was a lot to take yeah. in. If anybody has any tips on how to deal with black people here, let me know, please. Maybe we should actually have a bridge right there. No. Why? That's a lot of work. Okay. I'm good with just this. See, if you have anything to do with that, has to do with black people hair that doesn't have a lot of work, then you hit up work. I don't want to braid my hair. I just want to know how to style it and stuff. Which is basically braiding. Okay, Clayton took his stand back, but I wanted to just show you guys what I my little finished product because we're about to leave in like 20 minutes, so just wanted to show you guys before. And we left. So I wasn't gonna put my contacts in. I was like, just put them in. So they're in my eyes right now. They will probably not to last very long, but I don't really know. Okay, the point of this, the point of me doing this was I did my makeup, which I don't do quite often, but I will never go anywhere without blush and mascara. I mean, I don't wear mascara every day, but I have to put them on. So this is what I look like. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the camera, but I normally use this, the MAC thing as my foundation. That's what I normally use. But I went to Walmart a couple weeks ago and I got the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer because it like, I have, my skin is very, very dry. And I got it in 335, that's my little skin tone. And... I saw this because Chloe Lukasiak was Dance Moms. She was campaigning this or whatever as an ad. And I was like, let me try this. So I wrote it down and I now have it. it. Took me forever to find it. Cause I never had it in my complexion. And then my beauty blender was obviously, it was at home and I, didn't, I wasn't buying another one. So I used it and this is, I a 12 out of 10 recommend because I'm no beauty guru. <laughs> but I have very dry skin and flaky. So when I normally use this foundation, my face flakes like no other. This did not flake at all. So if you have dry skin, highly suggest this. And then like the basics of what I normally use is just foundation, my little concealer stick, the Fenty Beauty highlighters. This mascara we found off of Amazon and it's waterproof. I have to wear waterproof mascara because of my contacts I, I i can now see i'm a little shiny up here i don't have powder so this is what i do um and then maddie ziggler's morphe x um blush this is the best thing i've ever used as blush i love it it's it's very like this is the peach out i love this i have the lip gloss of it but i don't have it with me because that's cool this is zendaya's perfume the lacombe I don't know what I did with the, where's the box? This is in my suitcase and I'm not digging that out. So, but it's the La Lacombe um, perfume. It's vanilla scent and I love it. I'm a sucker for vanilla scents and I love this one. So, yes, I'm gonna put this on. I don't use a lot because it's very, very strong and I'm not a strong human being. So I normally just do one and then I, do this and then I see what I can do with my neck and that's it so and it, it'll wear it like dies down throughout the day but that's not what I do and let me get my life in order and then I shall see you guys whenever we start doing our road trip and maybe I may forget the vlog that's a very good chance that it happens 
And I would, I'm gonna vlog the game, of course, but okay, I'll see you guys momentarily. <laughs> Like what was it? Thirty-one points. I don't know which yeah, number zero. Mm-hmm. No, not not number five. Number zero. Number five could just move hunter. Okay, number zero. I'm doing a tech. We had thirty-one points. Season high. I just love Coach K. Poor Coach K. But it's okay. No, they didn't. They didn't bring it the, the one guy, number 13, they put off the bench. He shot the three. They should have had him in that goal. I mean, you know, they could shoot the three. Number 13. Like, why even keep doing it? But number go 13, to, go to the, basket. the kid who came in that when Coach K shoved in all the, the whole bench, number 13 made that last three. It didn't matter. Then he just wants some, want some stats. Yeah, but if he would have played the whole game, it would have been good. Well, put it nah. this way. They still got the NCAA. We'll yeah. Hope you're not making it fast. That's what the first round. The first round. But those Hokie fans, like, there was a lot of Hokie. There were, there were more Duke fans than Hokie fans. All I heard were Hokie fans. And we ain't going there because that's in Louisiana. The what? first two rounds are in Indianapolis. 
I'm three hours away from Indianapolis. We ain't going to the, to the, to the championship place. That's going to be held We can go to the women's one. Saints the women's one is in Texas. Want to go to Texas? We're going to make it. We're going to win it. Okay. We're going to win it. We were ones about okay. They, they were all the way to the like thirty, you know. Thirty one. Okay, but they they played Nebraska. That's a Big Ten team, and that was like freaking the blonde between the brunette who was like the blocker. I was like, we can't get around her. It's okay, she's leaving. Well, the all women can do it. It's gonna be them and NC State. Yes. I can't be doing South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay, it's okay. 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 It's sorry, I'm sorry, South I'm sorry. I made a mistake. They lost. They lost to University of Kentucky. They lost to UK. Guys, don't, you guys have no faith in Louisville. I'm not saying that. Yes, you just did. Yes, you did. You just said that South Carolina is going to win it. I beg to differ. Sorry. I would have hit the car behind me. Because you're definitely going to roll. I couldn't get my seat to go back to where it was when I was moving the car. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very trash spot. Now I got to listen to everybody on Monday. No, you don't, Clayton. You lost. It's okay. And you got to worry about it. And a game that they shouldn't have lost. And the vlog. There is still no light. Once again, some un... Some random unranked team. It's okay. They're not gonna make it very far. That's what. Yeah, didn't we just talk about? They're not gonna make it very far either. Yeah. So. We won't make it. We're not even in it, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Our women's team. Yours and mine.